Hello, hello. Hi there. I hope you are doing very well. I had made a recording earlier showing my uh, first intro into this game, Destiny 2. Uh, but sadly, my recording software I did not set up properly, and so the file size grew too big and was un bearably long to encode so I decided to scrap it and instead continue off from here from where I have uh, uh, progressed so far so I've been wanting to play this game for a while now I wasn't a big fan of the whole Activision thing going on though there's been some really bad things about the company that I've heard about being very greedy but Knowing that Bungie is taking that extra step to take their game and really push it beyond its limits and be able to make things right is very exciting to me. And being able to play this for the first time is very exciting to me because just the intro alone I thought was particularly awesome. Just getting the feel for the game, it's very smooth get into the game very easily Let's see oh wow the game actually is full right now temporarily at capacity you will join the game in the order in which you connected well this might take a little bit but um yeah it it started off really well it started off very excitingly uh I got to be able to experience a few things that just happened. There was like a dynamic event to what it appears to have been. Um, <clears throat> I got to experience a little bit of the loot loot system, just a tad bit, of course. Um, I did get like an automatic rifle. I got a sniper rifle. I got a rocket launcher. I even got a pair of boots, which I need to take a look at. I did hear about the modding system in the game in which it allows you to modify your weapons and your gear to some well I don't know if weapons have it I'm, I'm new to the whole game still so I'm learning some stuff but um, I think just armor is moddable at the moment I don't know if they plan on for weapons But yeah, I've been really wanting to play this and probably get in on this with some buddies. This might take a while, so I may just clip the video here and wait for me to enter. I'll be right back. And we're back. Apparently, Destiny has been having some server issues ever since launch and Albeit, uh, it's understandable being as popular as this game is, and uh, how many people really came in all at once. Yeah, I, I could, I could, I can see why there is a lot of issues with the servers. But apparently, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on currently. Well, I'm just happy enough to be able to log back in. So. We're going to start off where we left off. Uh, I think I may have mentioned before, but I will mention again. I have created a previous video that I was going to use, but the encoding size of the file was so big and I used the wrong encoding that it just it wasn't doable. So I had to just create a new video and start from this point on which is totally fine all right back in the tower now i can actually do some things so i did explore a little bit of this area wow tell you what the audio in here is clear and loud time for a break so I'm gonna, oh no wonder up that to seven 
should be better. Now I can actually explore around. I know I need to be over here, which previously I was going to accept this weapon from this guy. So, anyways. Eat Banshee 44. It's always nice to meet a new guardian. As a welcome to the tower. Here, take this weapon. Trust me, it's an upgrade. Banshee 44 is the tower's gunsmith. He offers bounties, gear mods, and special rewards. Hover over the icon below and select it with the left mouse button. Oh, it looks like quite an upgrade. Ooh, yeah. What's this? Equip gear, you've received a new weapon. Press F1 to open your character screen and flip it. Awesome. What's this? Glimmer, the currency of the city, a form of programmable matter used both for craft and as fuel. Interesting. There are shards obtained from dismantling legendary and exotic quality items. We got silver. I'm guessing this is your premium currency. Rare reef coins struck during the height of the golden age of great value to certain collectors. And bright dust. I think I've heard of this bright dust before. Obtained by completing certain bounties and from special reward sources. Gotcha. So, let's see. Faction reward. Dismantle rare or legendary gear to get gunsmith materials and earn rewards from the gunsmith. Alright. So, we have different bounties here, too. Beat targets with precision final blows in the European dead zone. Calibrate weapons against targets and strikes. And the crucible. Calibrate arc weapons against any target. Calibrate sword. Okay, so it's a whole bunch of calibration. Do I left click to accept? Okay, yes. Left click to acquire. So does it cost me glimmer to accept it? Probably won't bother about this yet. Don't get burned. Uh, no, I do not want to get burned. Thank you very much, good sir. All right. So, we do have a sniper rifle and a new pulse rifle. That looks pretty fancy. Details. Ooh, so weapon perks. So, the Bayesian MSU. Locking items prevents dismantling. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, adaptive frame, a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. And we've got red dotters, snap, shot, sight, short zoom, slightly increases range, increases handling speed. And we've got red dot ORS1, agile sight, short zoom, increases range, handling speed, slightly increases. Well, apparently this seems better if it increases range further. But I guess that's really preference, really. And we've got faster reloads when the magazine's empty. And holding down the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. Got appearances, which I do not have any shaders. I've seen a lot about these shaders. It can make things look pretty darn cool. Oh yeah, I did have new pair of leg armor. So this is the new modding system. The outlander steps, like armor, always lead to new places. Upgrade this armor to increase its energy capacity by one. No Fully upgrading this armor to masterwork provides a bonus to all stats. So are these mods... So it's going to cost me glimmer, I bet, to apply any of these. So gain extra damage resistance against bosses and battles. Gain extra damage res resistance against powerful combatants. Extra damage resistance against rank and file combatants. Reduces incoming solar damage from non guardian enemies. Light arms, dexterity, faster ready. Ready and stow speed for hand cannons, sidearms, and submachine guns. Faster ready and stow feet speed for all rifle class weapons. Faster ready and stow speed for rocket launchers, grenade launchers, shotguns, and bows. Alright. I'll give this one a shot. 
So yeah, that cost me Glimmer to apply. So I will have to be wary of that. All right. I won't forget everyone we lost. I won't. It's better. Yeah, it's got. Can I compare? Is there an easy way to compare? Resilience six. Oh wow. Um, recovery. Strength. Gives me more strength. Though this can't be modded. I guess that's understandable. Why? I guess I'll keep some of this stuff on hand. Strength increases the cooldown time of your melee ability. Decreases the cooldown time of your melee ability, allowing you to use it more often. Intellect decreases the cooldown of your super ability, allowing you to use it more often. Alright, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can read, but I should probably get into some action. But I should follow this quest line first. Game told me it was rather important, so. No brainer. Welcome to the tower, Guardian. Well, thank you, you Savala. The Traveler is battle-worn and as mysterious as ever. But it remains the source of our immortality and the gift of our light. The city below. All those people. Survivors. Fighters. We are all that's left of humanity. And it's our duty to defend it by reclaiming our solar system from the enemies at our gates. Get to know the Tower Guardian. You have many allies here. Alrighty. When you're ready to get back in the fight, I've got a long list of hard targets ready for you to strike. Alone or with your fire team. Alright. Sounds pretty cool. So, Commander Zavala is the leader of the Vanguard. He offers bounties, pursuits, and special rewards for challenges and strike activities. Alright. So, first strike. Engage and in and complete a Vanguard strike. Hmm. Special shaders. Complete the Season 8 First Watch Pursuit. Interesting. Leave new quests, track quest bounties and other pursuits, open your director by holding tab. Right. Main quest, new light, introduction to strikes. Uh, I don't want to stick to my main quest, so I would do that. It's a promise. The Eververse. What? what can I do for you, Guardian? Lavish fashions. Test smiles. I have something for you, Guardian. No need for repayment. Here, I hope it spurs the imagination. Nostalgic engram. An engram containing different ornaments, emotes, and accessories from year two. Ooh. Alright. Linear Fusion Dance and War Brick Shader. Ooh. Require? Alright. Come see me again, Guardian. Let's take a look at the shader, shall we? Yes. The shader. Color of your armor. It's easy math, Guardian. You got the silver, Eververse has the good. Oh. Fancy. But I did notice that it it is a consumable. So. Ah, uh, well. That's alright. I don't mind. I'll go with a whole set. Just because. Not really that fancy on the chess piece. So. I'm just going to apply it just because. There we go. Well, that's a little better. Once you change the arms, that definitely changes. But... That's quite.
quite nice. But I'll definitely have to consider the color swatches and how many times I can use them later. Alright, uh, where does my main quest want to lead me now? Over here. This game looks it's crazy. Good it looks. <laughs> nice slide mechanics. I hear you survived the Cosmodrome. That's a tough place to start your new life, Guardian. I'm impressed. But there are many battles left to fight. Look around you. The last city. Its people. This is our home, but this home is not safe. We must protect it. That is a guardian's duty. We must take our fight beyond these walls, push back the forces that threaten our existence. To that end, I will help guide you as you explore the wider worlds of our lost frontier. Adventure awaits, guardian. I know you'll answer its call. Yep, I sure will, ma'am. At least I hope soon. Come legend, explore the EDZ. To navigate to unlock destinations. Where does it want me to go now? Strikes, worlds. Where else does it want me to go? Select the destinations tab. Oh, I see. Select Earth to access activities on that destination. Select the Trust Land. Moving Zone LZ. To begin your exploration of the Europe Dead Zone on Earth. Alright. Maybe we finally got some action going on here. Oh, Definitely uh, uh, plenty of time to waltz around and see what's going on. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, we can get some action. Oh yeah. Nav mode can be useful. When first arriving on a planet, press tab to open. Nav mode can help guide you to points of interest. For example, the destiny icon in the nearby church indicates an available quest. Check it out. Alright, and summon a vehicle. Oh, check that out. Oh, that is smooth. Bad, not bad. Burst fire rifle. Let's go up here because we need a quest. At least for this specific area, I would think. Double jump tonight. Come now. Up there. That's all I need. Hello. Be careful out there. Ah, uh, Guardian, welcome to the EDZ. I can always use your help to keep the local riffraff in check. From the outskirts to the gulch, we've got plenty of nasties roaming these hills. And don't get me started on the Cabal's firebase. Devrim K offers EDZ bounties, pursuits, and various rewards to Guardians who fight to reclaim the EDZ. Alright. Fair enough. Bounties, power weapon kills, get power weapon kills in the, create orbs of light in the, public events completed. 
Hmm. I hope it is helpful. Two sixty. It does cost glimmer. Interesting. Okay, setting away points. I want to dismiss this. A to navigate. All right. So discover the EDZ. Orbs generated. I track. You only track. Oh, I see. Here we are. Our weapon kills. All right. What would be considered power weapon kills? Ow. Okay. Oh, spoiler captain, hello. Woo -hoo. That is some firepower right there. I couldn't get the guy up because there's a big baddie in the way. And those sound effects are loud. I should, wow, I should really adjust my audio. That is just, oof. Sound. Effects. Dialogue. Keep that up. We'll stay. This game is loud. That's what makes a great game. It's good, loud sounds. How many of these are there? They just keep spawning? Oh yeah, by that guy. That's why. Ooh, supercharged. Whoa! Freak! Die! Holy crap, he just came out of nowhere. Ooh. Nice, a whole bunch of glimmer. Whatever those shards are. It's just a broken component. Wow, the shotguns are stupid powerful. I can see why when I watch PvP videos, people use it like crazy. Woo! That is powerful. No, thank you. Holy crap. That gets insane. Ooh, they will get up on you. Golly, this gets chaotic quick. Have some of that. The big guns, big, big guns. Oh, what the hell is that?
Eat a shell. In your face. Thank you for the loot. Plenty of glimmer. Which I guess I can see why you have to spend a little bit of it. Just kind of balance it out. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh. How do you like that? Boy, this shotgun is powerful. Good thing there's like lots of ammo drops. At least for the starting area, I can tell. Reload everything. Alright, well, I guess that was an event? I'm not sure. That certainly just happened. Box. Like some loot. Desert bat. Oh wow. So you can find shaders. Or mantis like armor. Okay. Might be a little rusty. I can I kind of feel my aim is a little off in some cases. But hey. You don't play a first person shooter for in a while. Definitely lose a bit of your skill. It's in here. There's anything in here. Interesting. Oh, wow. This place really opens up. Ah, oh, that knife kill is so nice. <laughs> that dagger toss. However, that can be kind of weird spending it on the by using it on the same as a melee, you might accidentally spend it in some, some cases. Oh, uh, there's a giant wall here. Why is that? I guess that's the boundaries of the map. Oh, I even get glimmer just by killing enemies. That's nice. Alright, well. Should I go here? Orbs generated? Maybe I should take a look at my quest log right now. That one's done. Public events completed. That I do need to do. Where are public events? Maybe I should go back to where all the other players are. That might uh, solve some issues. You need to get used to the Weapon swap a bit. Hmm. 
we got here? Definitely some really beautiful landscapes and just even if it's just a run down town or Oh yeah, that that is a little iffy to me. I don't wanna have to spend my dagger by accident when I wanna melee. Oh hi there. You want a dagger to the face too? I'll give it to you. That's so satisfying. Just give them a little plink across the face and they're dead. Ooh. Of course this stuff is probably just a little too weak right now. I'm sure as I get higher up, the dagger is probably going to do a little bit less. I'm not sure. But it feels so powerful right now. Oh, frick. Not you again. Woo, crap! All right, get over here. I got my shotty ready for you. Oh, you don't you don't like the idea of my shotgun being pulled out, do you? That doesn't feel good, does it? Oh. <laughs> Apparently, you can just keep doing that over and over again. Yeah, you do kind of generate quite a bit of glimmer, don't you? That's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> sure, I'm going to use it quite a few times. Ah, I got the generator done. Better go turn these in. Get some of my rewards from it. Then I gotta figure out what's considered a public event. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Do I turn them in here or I hold one at a time? How do I turn in? Unless they might take a bit of convincing to get marked. Well what are you now? Okay. He's a city dweller at heart. That makes sense. I just keep accepting the same thing. Speak your mind. Uh, you can only do it once, yes. Okay. Public events. So, again, I need to know what a public event is. Start adventure. Let's get started. There's a banner on the main floor. Give it a look, will you? Right. There's a banner on the main floor. Right. Oh, fancy. This is a fallen house sigil. I don't recognize it though. Nor I. The fallen seem to have put this up as something of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there with a bit of a story to them. We both need some supplies to get going out here. See if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. Oh, what do we got here? Legionary? You are no more. You are dead. Two rights. Ooh. Hi. I don't like your blades. I don't like that either.
Perfect. Oh, blasted. And a one hit. Or one shot, I should say. Oh! That didn't feel good. It is my first, well, not my first death, but my first revive, self-revive. I don't know if this, no, if this, if this counts as a public event or what. Get out of my face, you resilient marauder. Ooh, heal, 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 heal. Being wrecked left and right. You? I'm tired of you. You can have a rocket shotgun blast to the face. Okay, that range was a little bit off. Bam! Oh crap! That hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. That gets pretty darn crazy. I still don't think that counted as a public event, though. Sadly. Oh. There. Public events. Zero of two. Hmm. I guess I should complete that adventure. I'll probably worry about the public events later. Where does it want me to go? Alright, wants me to go over here. You got it, sir. Just by it. Get out of my face. Ooh, your head just popped? That's uh, interesting. <laughs> I guess headshots sure are rewarding. Very well done. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. Alrighty. Where might this symbol be, good sir? Alright. Get these guys out of the way. Debrim, where did this symbol come from? I believe your city hunters must have put them here and there about the region as they scouted around. I think they meant it to mark something special. Or dangerous. Or both. Let's go check it out. Yay. Alright. We need to head over here, I guess. 
Ah, we need to go downwards. Ooh. Damn, look at those details. The history of this region is fascinating. I believe tunnels and caves like the one you're in now stretch all across the EDZ. Who knows what's lurking down there? Be careful. Yes, sir. I will try my best to be as careful as possible. Oh, hi. Dreg. Dang it. Freaking spent my dagger again. Keep doing that. So far, things are going pretty well. Game runs really great. Uh, I'm quite surprised. I have a somewhat older system, but it's not super old. Hey, get out. Get out of here. Ooh, you require something a little more powerful. Goodbye. I just snagged a key code from that captain. I think I can open his supply cache. Uh, let's let's end this with a bang, shall we? <clears throat> well, at least part of it. Dodge that, didn't you? Heck out of here. Good work down there, you two. Keep an eye out for other hidey holes and treasures like this one. But that's for another day. In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Come on back up to the church tower. I'm putting a kettle on now. I'm putting a kettle on now. Oh yes, may we enjoy a nice spot of tea. I would love a nice spot of tea. Yes, thank you very much. What's this? No. Heroic. Qual tend to use a single technology to power everything in their arsenal. Take advantage of that design fault to send them a message. Ooh, heroic. That must be a much harder difficulty. I'll probably look into that later. <laughs> All right, sir. Are you got something from me? What's the word? <coughs> Excuse me. Claim ten reward and grounds to unlock this emblem. Hmm. Tracks ghost scans, region chests, and lost sectors. Dead zone. Interesting. So, I bounty's completed. Uh, I still need to find public events. Someday I shall look back on this and laugh. I shall look back on this and laugh. Hello. Yes, I shall. Get out of here. Goodbye. <clears throat> okay, public events. Public events. Public events. What are public events? I'm still confused. Frame job. Travel to. Travel deep into enemy territory, ambush the Reggie Legion, and trick them into retaliating against the Fallen. What the? Oh, hi there.
Tyler, you. And you. Thank you very much. Right. Left the edge here. Let's start uh, this adventure. Ah, thanks for checking in, you two. We've had our fill of Red Legion patrols and fallen raids. We could use a spot of help with both. See if you can track down a fallen comms terminal. Dev's got an idea that's crazy enough to work. Ah, uh, it's difficult for the young to recognize the wisdom of experience. <laughs> the wisdom of experience. Rally to flag. I don't have any more ammo for that. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Oh, hi. Uh, don't want to get too close there. Excess fallen terminal. It's over here. Check this out. Is any good? Not nice to see you too. Excellent. What say you use your access to prepare a broadcast in Fallen Speak? I've been meaning to put this cabal oh, communication oh, site fragment. to use. The Red Legion fighting the Fallen for a change. Great idea. I can extract archived audio transmissions from any fallen in the area. Interesting. Fragments collected. Ah, so I collected one of those fragments. Oh, hello. You're a little bouncy, aren't you? I've got enough for a pretty convincing fallen impression. Don't mention accents around Dev unless you want a day long lecture about city dialects. Meantime, best sight line to Red Legion air support is the cliffside where you and I set up that refugee beacon. No one appreciates the finer things anymore. Oh, that was friendly. <laughs> My bad. Oh, one of you guys. Yeah, you can go down. And spawn kill. Alright, so find an ambush site. Over here. Ooh, interesting. What is this going to take? It's the same area I was in before. This feels a little different. I can't believe we have to go back into the mines again. Chin up, you two. Good news. You'll be able to use a fallen teleporter to reach the top. Um, bad news. They've wired the place to explode. So. Change. I'm guessing I can't. Oh, it's F1. Yeah, I Nope, I don't have any ammo for that. Change it back. Now I don't have any ammo for that. Oh, okay. So that's a big no no. Don't change weapons unless you know what you're doing. Give me some ammo. Thank you. I guess it isn't too bad to get ammo though, so. If I run a deep scan of the tunnels, we can borrow all these traps and explosives. 
and put them to good use, sowing chaos between your enemies. A lovely idea. Oh, that dagger toss was nice. Oh, I uh, scan explosives. Uh, yikes! What was that? It hit me. Definitely avoid these lasers. Unless I want to be obliterated. You can die, because I don't like you. Neither do I like you. Nice. What the hell? Oh, that thing keeps him alive. No more. Ah, that's better. Now I can transmit these horribly dangerous explosives wherever we need. Oh, wow. They're just gone. Is that special ammo? Fancy. Nice wood forest right here. Forestry. And ah, uh, just at the graphics alone. Yeah, you're gonna take the knife, okay? Don't try to avoid it. Take it calmly, you know? It's much faster that you do. Destroy this thing? Oh, pfft, no, I guess not. I threw another dagger. Uh... Oh. oh, I see. I need to be over there, not up there. Scan the area, my ghost. Great work. Broadcasting the message now. I decided to go with a marauder accent. Why would you? Why would you? Marauder, eh? You know the thing that really lights my candle about their language? Actually, Devrim, let's keep the channel clear. You know, to uh, make sure there's no interference during the transmit. Respawning restricted. Oh, that's not good. Way. Whatever you said, it got their attention. I used a pretty nasty word to describe Gaul. I don't want to repeat it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Conventional warfare. I'd be on the lookout for drop pods if I were you. Big bada boom. Oh yeah, that's nice. Good thing we got those traps set up. I made it a heck of a lot easier. Guys can uh, come on over here, and I watch you go boom. <laughs> That's satisfying. <coughs> You're really gonna set up a shield right there, huh? Ian. Oh, that was a bit much. About ate the explosives myself. Did 
Ooh, more of you. Care for a little bit of surprise? Oh. The mines did it for me. Well, that's a shame. I could hear the explosions <laughs> all the way back here. I bet it was quite a show. Yes, yes, the indeed it was. The Red Legion heard it too. We'll let them shoot at each other for a while and clean up whatever's left. Great work. Oh, our weapon. All right, F1. You remember that? Power weapon. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. It's got an aggressive frame and it's got sticky grenades. Fancy. Sticky grenades. And it's got two swappable perks here. Ball of launch. This weapon is optimized for an especially explosive payload. It greatly increases blast radius, slightly decreases handling speed, and speed. Smart drift control. This barrel is broadly optimized for firing control. Moderately controls re increases stability, increases handling speed, slightly increases speed. I'll weave it as is and swap to it. That'll be fun to mess with. Now, <clears throat> I think it's getting kind of late now. But this has been a pretty productive video. Thank you. Goodness that uh, Bungie was able to get everything up and running. Now uh, I do appreciate you all from for uh, watching the video. I hope that you like it, and I do hope that you will subscribe and ring that bell if you must. I hear that it's a big help to many YouTubers, and wow, I just got another thing grenade launcher. That's impressive. I'm not used to usually adding my own two cents about subscribing, but it's new to me. <laughs> it's 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 pretty new to me. But I enjoy this. Recording videos is nice. Anyways, thank you. I hope you all have a very good day, very good night. Hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.